This is uh, Chris Moore, who's uh, the CIO of the City of Edmonton. Just thought we'd take a few minutes to have a quick chat. So how are you enjoying FutureGov and what are your thoughts of what's happening in Gov2O in Australia? Really enjoying FutureGov. It's a great opportunity for leaders from around the world and across Australia to get together and talk about the future. But for me, I've been following what's been happening in Australia for a couple of years now. Uh, we've been very focused on open government and open data. and. Um, Unfortunately, in Canada, uh, from a national perspective, we're not leading in the world, and I've always seen Australia as a, a world leader. Part of the challenge is, is that a lot of great things are happening here, and until you step off the continent and talk to other people, you don't realize all the great things that you're doing. So whether it's Canada or the U.S. or, or even in the U.K., people are watching, observing, and, uh, and looking to replicate a lot of the great success that you're doing. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. And uh, what are, what have you thought of um, some of the case studies that you've heard here? What have been sort of some of the standout things that you've noticed? Well, for me, and as we're trying to drive forward with changing government, transforming government, using technology, uh, a lot of things that I've heard at the sessions have validated that we're on the right track. Uh, whether it's uh, leveraging social media or looking at uh, bring your own device, how we can use the cloud, how we can better collaborate with citizens. And so I appreciate coming to an event like this, not just to talk about what we're doing, but also to hear what other people are doing and, and either finding out that we're on the right track, we're slightly ahead of the pack. Um, and you know, in, in government, there's not, people don't talk about competition, but you know, people are, are looking to be uh, a leader in their country or in the world in, in certain areas. So people share information, but I, I can always tell that people are making notes and going back to their agency and saying, okay, we got to get ahead of this agency or that country so a lot of great things um, but still a lot of work to do. Okay and just briefly um, give us a little bit of an overview of some of the work that you've been doing um, particularly some of the restructuring organizational restructuring that you did and uh, the impact that's had sort of a, now that you're a little bit down the track. Well one of the things that that I started a few years ago with my team was really to look at how IT was showing up for the rest of the organization and we needed to change the way we were doing things. It, we no longer could uh, create sustainable environments by thinking we had to build everything, we had to support everything. So we've moved not just into open data, but into open ecosystems, doing apps competitions, partnering with the local community. Uh, some of the people in IT are a little nervous because they think they're going to have to support all those systems at the end of the day. Um, we have made an aggressive move recently into the cloud. Our council just two weeks ago approved our move to Gmail and Google Docs, so we'll be moving off of our Microsoft uh, relationship that we've had for 20 years into that new space. And it's not just about saving money, it's about collaborating differently, sharing documents, having a single version of the truth, both within the city and, and within our partners and agencies around the city. So at, at the heart of it, we really had to change the way we were showing up and, and being IT professionals and giving ourselves freedom to look at alternate solutions and, and be flexible. But And I hear a lot of people even talk about it here. IT people make a lot of change with systems and technology, but at the root of it, they seem to be uh, one group that is the hardest to accept change for themselves. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time and have a fantastic time in Australia. Great. Thank you.